Hello, welcome to the Chong channel. Right now, we're going to learn about factoring quadratics with a common factor. Now, in the previous videos, if you remember when we were dealing with factoring problems, the first question you asked yourself was, first, is it x factor? And if it was x factor, it was in the format of x squared x number. So this one actually does look like it's an x factor, but I'm not sure if you recognize it, but all the x factor problems we did so far had a leading coefficient of 1. But if you look here, this is a leading coefficient that is not 1, which means this is not good. We're going to have to do some more work. So first thing, okay, this is not an immediate x factor. So what was the next question you asked yourself? Well, the next question you were supposed to ask yourself is, is this a difference of perfect squares? Well, this is a difference. This is a perfect square, but are these perfect squares? No. Just a quick review, difference perfect squares look something like this where there's a difference in between, and each term is a perfect square. So for example, what two perfectly the same multiply to give you 4x squared? 2x times 2x gave us 4x squared. And what two perfectly the same multiply to give us 9? 3 and 3. Therefore, they're perfectly the same. The only difference is the sign in between. So this is what we call the difference of perfect squares. I'm just going to X this out so we don't get confused with our current problem. So then if it's not X factor, it's not difference of perfect squares. So our final choice would be GCF. GCF representing greatest common factor, which leads on to the topic for today. So we're factoring quadratics with a common factor. So that's the greatest common factor. So let's look here. We got negative 4. Oh, that was the original problem for x factor. So why don't we do this? Let's factor out that negative 4 since that was the big problem. And we're going to factor that out as our so-called GCF. So now we're doing the reverse distributive. Negative 4 times what term gives us negative 4x squared? Well, we already have the negative 4, so the only term we're missing here is x squared. Next part, negative 4 times what term gives us negative 28x? And it is positive 7x. Make sure you're very careful with your signs. One little sign error, the whole thing goes <laughs> kablooey. Now, negative 4 times what gives you negative 48? And that would be positive 12. Now, if you see here, right now, it seems like we're done, right? GCF was supposed to be one set of parentheses. However, this is one of those really sneaky problems on the regions. Here it says, factor completely, which means we need more work to do. So the negative 4, we're going to leave it alone. And now, if you see inside this parentheses, this is another factoring problem. Let me give you two seconds. One, two. What kind of factoring problem is this? Yep, exactly. That is x factor. Remember, it's in the format of variable squared, variable number, and the leading coefficient is 1. So once again, last, top, middle, bottom. Once again, last is the product, middle, bottom, sum. So we're going to list our factors that multiply to give us 12, starting from 1. 1 times 12. After 1, that would be 2. 2 times 6. After 2, that's 3. 3 times 4. And after 3 is 4, and then the list goes up. 
Now, which of these pairs adds or subtracts to give me that seven? And the only choice would be three and four. Once again, little brother takes the sign of the larger number. Which of these is the larger number? And it is four. So if little brother is positive, then big brother is also positive. Now also check, do these two numbers multiply to give you a positive 12? Absolutely. And do these two numbers add to give you positive seven? Sure it does. So now let's set up the factors. So what two multiply to give me x squared? x times x. And then what do we get from the x factor? Plus three and plus four. So in a problem like this, when they mention factor completely, that means there's more work to be done. And so if I were to ask you another question, how many factors multiply to give us this original quadratic? That would be one, two, three, three factors. So these are what we call our factors. And our original problem was called the product. Okay, good luck, hope that helps, bye bye.